and welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and Arizona Diamondbacks. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chompy. Chris, one guy having a big year for this club, leading the team at home runs and runs batted in, Reese Hoskins. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Ready to go? Showing the slab in today's game, Merrill Kelly. And singing, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with the runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. First pitch, 640. And the 1-0. Nope. And that one missing low. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just could catch up. And the pitch. And there's the ball. Down on strikes. Now one away. It's been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. JT Real Muto steps in. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The 1 0. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Barsho in position, and he makes the catch. Two up, two down. That is and time now for the Phillies lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, JT Real Muto. Ah, Boog, what a great talent. I mean, the kind of player who can dominate a game at times, be a perennial all-star, can take home some hardware as well. I mean, he's one of the best in the game today and always fun to watch. Bryce Harper to the plate. Tons of pop. Right now, he's third in the National League in homers. On the ground to the left. He dives, but he can't make the catch. No throw. He's in safely, and now there's a runner at first. Big knock there to keep the That's inning cool. alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap Landed. and give the Phillies the lead. Runner at first with two away. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Next pitch is outside. At the belt and fires. That misses the zone, and the count is 3-1. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Luplo makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia, and now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show.
We go to the bottom of the first. And on the hill, Carlos Rodon. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him. And they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Josh Rojas stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. looking and there's one down well really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there glove side command that fastball firm to the That's outside corner tell yeah. you what very difficult oh, to do anything with that pitch even if you do swing Nick Ahmed here to hit First oh, offering misses the mark. The lefty to one on. And that's oh, outside. That Two oh. Called strike right there. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. One down, base is empty. Ball three. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Three balls, one strike. Here comes the pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. Nope. Ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base Batting with a quick free pass. The designated hitter. An outstanding right hitter in Cattell Marte. Marte. First offering, and it just misses. Ahmed stands at first with one out. Lays down the line. This looks like extra bases. And that one's going to get into the corner. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scored position and just one out. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel batting really good. Hit. Now batting right Jordan Luplo. Jordan. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Whoa. And the 1 0. -oh. Just oh, missed. That one out to right. Harper sizing this one up. Squeezes it. Runner tags from third. And they'll score first. It's one six. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. And he deals. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Jordan. 
racing over to make the catch. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the second inning here in the desert. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Phillies nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Leading off for Philadelphia, the first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. The pitch. And a swing to miss. Next offering is in for a strike. And Chris behind the plate today, James Kingsley, known for being a little generous on the edges. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's the 0-2. That one missed. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Foul ball. So now one and two to Reese. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Here's That's Nicholas it. Castellanos. The left fielder, number four. Nick Castellanos. And the first offering is not close. One down, Phillies down a run. Lifted in the air, right field. Luplo sizes this one up. Makes the catch, and there's two down. Batting seven, the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Chris Bryant now. In there, and it's 0-1. Out towards left center. Varsho ranging back. That is the inning. Phillies down in order. They're down 1-0. Here in the desert, bottom of the second. And now the first baseman, Christian Walker. The first baseman. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. And a pinch. On the ground, right side. One up, one down. Batting seven, the left fielder, Seth Beer. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Seth Beer. His July and August splits there. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next one misses, and the count is one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Right, 
was a one-two. Two balls, two strikes. And now the lefty, the 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily Starting been called a strike in that location. And now it's no Dolph Varsha. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The pitch. All one there. In there. And so now one and two. Beer at first, one gone. Go. They tried to get him to chase on a slider, down it away. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes, two away. Oh, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended Batting slump, up. one that lasts for several baseman. games, even a week Ooh. or more. You know, right now, oh, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Now, here is Drew Ellis. Hey. That one's in there on one. And a pitch. In the dirt, but kept close. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. We played two innings. It's one to nothing. Here's Trevor Story now, having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. Trevor Story. Kelly, back to work. And that one fouled off. And here it comes. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Varsho settles under it. And it's caught for the out. Batting nine. The second baseman, Gene Segura. Gene Segura at the plate here. First pitch, just misses. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. Swing and a foul back, that's out of play. The next pitch misses, and a count two and one. Kicks and deals. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. 
Line drive and foul ball. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch for the plate lately. He tried to get inside on him, but he was ready for it. Just kept his hands in and turned on the pitch. Quick bat through the zone. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He's over one. First pitch, and he just misses. The 1 0. He swings and fouls one off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The pitch. 12, 10. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Next offering upstairs. Righty to the plate, and it's ball four. He missed down low. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. The catcher. And now the catcher mm -hmm. comes up to him. JT Real Muto hit it well but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. First off, bring it just misses. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next one is off the plate. Two balls, no strikes to count. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss. Two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. One out. Runners at first and second. Got it. Down to a one. Here's Bryce Harper, right now with the fifth most RBIs in the NL. First offering, misses the mark. And the 1 0. Gets him to chase after that one. So the tying run at second. Right field down the line, and that one slices out. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. Segura, the lead runner at second. Schwarber at first, two out of the inning. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. So 
So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. and two. And a 3-2. And that'll load the bases. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He can play off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boogie, found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Jordan, seventh in the National League in RBIs. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat nope. them. Next pitch misses. Ball two. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. That one pushed foul. Base is loaded. Two down. the ground lays out oh it's off his glove to first and he beats it everyone's safe well that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it so really great job coming through right here it's got to feel good now a huge at bat in this game coming up and the batter now is Reese Hoskins First pitch, just misses. Two outs, bases are full. A big swing and a miss. Is a 1-1. A little out front there as he swings through it. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swing and a ball lifted left field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. We head down to the home half of inning number three. All tied 1-1. Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the rookie third baseman, Leading up, Drew Ellis. The, back, the third baseman, Drew Ellis. Here comes the pitch. And downstairs. Count one and oh. And a pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Harper drops steps, heads back on it. And that one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Here's Josh Rojas. The batter, number 10. Second baseman, Josh. In there for strike one. On one. The pitch. 
in one the one. dirt, one and one. Next pitch is outside. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. And another ball. Base hit. Ellis coming home. Jordan fires it to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. It's 2 1. Well done. Drives in the run. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Nick Gomez stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The batter number 13, shortstop, Nick Gomez. In there, and it's 0-1. The 0-1. Here's the strike. The 0-2. That's a ball. Stays alive. Runner at first with no outs here. That one missing inside. The 2-2 two -two now. And there's a foul ball. Two two now. That one ripped left field way back there. And it hits the base of the wall. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra the bases. Hitter, Here's Cattell Marte, Cattell. the switch hitter batting right. Marte. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. The other way. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. One run across. Now two runs score. And they're up by three. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. He has had such a good day today. I think he's going to want to leave when it's over. A couple of doubles today for the DH. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan Luplo. Now batting, right fielder, Jordan. First pitch doesn't Luplo. find the zone. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. This one in the air, right field. Harper on the move. Drops into the glove. Runner tagging for third. And he's in safely at third with one out. Now batter, the catcher. Carson. Next to hit for Arizona, Carson Kelly. Kelly. 
Yeah. yeah, that's in there for strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Kicks and fires. And fouled off. Oh, and two now. That nope. misses off the outside edge. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. And now it's even up. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Ow. Two away now after the drop third strike. The first base. And now it's Christian Walker. Rounded out his first time up. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One one now. Good eye right there. Here's a two one. There's a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. And he deals. We got three balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that is that. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now a 4-1 ball game. And welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. And the right hander back to work. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next pitch is outside. The wind to kick the 2-0. Good eye right there. Three on the count. And yeah, there's a strike. That one drilled left field, and it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Chris Bryant stands in for the Phillies. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Hey. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. Chases that one out of the zone. One away. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. So digging in, Trevor Story. 0 for 1. He was robbed of a hit on a diving catch his first time up. In there for strike one. Castellanos over at first with one away. On the ground, could be two. To second, and he threw it away. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base. And a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still definitely an error, though. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. In there, and it's 0-1. And the right-hander deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. First and third. One down. Kelly a move to first. And he's back in there. The 2 Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field, pretty well struck. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Runner tags for home. He's in to score in the sack fly, and it's now a two-run game. Now that the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber now at the plate. First pitch and he just misses. Story on the move. Pitch misses. Throw to second. Save. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. And that one wrapped foul. Left hand hitter waits. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Look out. That ball is smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. And that's ball four. Now back. Tetra. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. 
This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And first offering is fouled off. Move to second. Story back into the dive. First and second, two down. The next offering misses, and that's ball one. Two outs. And there's a ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Wings through that one. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. right there to the bottom of inning number four now it's the Diamondbacks four and the Phillies two back here at Chase Field bottom of the fourth and now Seth B here to go for the Diamondbacks the left fielder. Set. Here. Pitch. And a strike in there. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs and in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. The 2 And now one and two. One ball, two strikes, yeah. The pitch. Up the middle, and that's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. The center fielder, number 12. And now the center fielder, Dalton Varsho. First pitch, not close. On the ground, right side. Dives and he can't hang on. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. As the pitcher brings it in for the out, and the runner advances now to batting. second. Third baseman, Drew Ellis. Down the third baseman, Drew Ellis. First offering, misses the mark. The lefty, the 1 0. Swings through that. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Here's a 1 1. Next offering misses down and away. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Beer over at second, one down. Go, 
Next pitch Three misses two. inside. Three and two now. Runner leads away at second. And ball four to a board. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double now play opportunity. So not a terrible result. So the batting order turns over. And the batter now, Josh Rojas. First offering, and it just misses. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Racing makes the catch. And there's two down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. No I'm telling you, 13. he is going to be frustrated Good with stop. himself until his next yeah. at bat. Oh, man. So first and second with two outs. Now up next for Arizona, Nick Ahmed. And a foul ball. Gets under and pops it up. Segura has this one sized up. Brings it in. And that is that. Diamondbacks strand a pair as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now, Bryce Harper. Leading off for Philadelphia, the right fielder, number three, Bryce Harper. The line of the pitch. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. 1-0. and oh. Movement in the bullpen. Taylor White, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Gilbert, the lefty, warming up as well. Left-hand batter waits. Ripped on a line. Leaping. Can't haul it in. And that's a leadoff double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So up next, Brandon Jordan. First pitch, just misses. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And that one is lifted in the air. Luplo makes the catch. Runner tags up for third. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. The first baseman, Reese Hoskins stands in for the Phillies. And a foul ball. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here! His 48th of the year, and they're chipping away. It's 4-3. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected more than 450 feet. 
Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. The left fielder, Nick Castellanos at the plate now. First pitch, and he just misses. Next one misses, two balls, no strikes. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk away. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. offering misses and that's ball three two down nobody on fouled off again and it remains three and two. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Three, two. Stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Ellis under it, and that ends the inning. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, Cattell Marte up to the plate. Leading off for the Diamondback, the designated hitter, Cattell Marte. And here it comes. And ball one. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. 2-0. That one missed. Three-o down. And that one fouled off. pitch and it's filled up count is three and two and now the lefty and so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass you get a walk and you get a walk everyone gets a walk and now the right fielder Jordan right Luplo field. Jordan Luplo and that's in there for strike one goodness i think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat you don't get many like that in that location i don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound Marte gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch misses. Get a count, one and two.
Hit on the ground, might be two. To second for one. On to Hoskins. Double play. Now batting, catcher, Carson Kelly. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Carson Kelly. December 27 was the birth of Kanata, the Met fan, born in the home of the Dodgers. D. Strawberry was the man as a toddler from Brooklyn. High in the air, out to right. Harper giving chase. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. Just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. Man at second here with two away. Next to hit for Arizona, now Christian that. Walker. The first baseman. That one's in there, 0-1. Walker. And it's second. That's a ball. I got a ball, one strike. On a line, base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the set with two away. Well, a swing like that yeah. can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Carlos Rodon is done in this one. And the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Here's the new player. pitcher for the Phillies, now Zach Eflin. And his job is to Number collect 56. quick outs and keep his Nine. team within striking distance. Well, so at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Seth Beer stands in now for the Diamondbacks. In there for strike one. Not the easiest thing. When you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And yeah, the righty deals. And a foul ball. Runners on first and third, two away. Next pitch downstairs. It's a ball and two strikes. In the dirt. But no advance from the runners. Two two now. And now it's filled up. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And it goes just foul. And the pitch. And he walked it. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Dolph Varsho, the next to hit. Well, there's a reason why he's at the bottom of the order, struggling as of late. But a knock here would be a huge lift for him and for his team. Up the middle. They take the force out. That's the third out. Diamondbacks leave it loaded, and it remains a 4-3 game. Taylor White gets handed the rock out of the pen, and he'll work on holding this lead. Top six and digging in for Philadelphia, Chris Bryant. Leading off with the Phillies, the third baseman, Chris Bryant.
The wind of the pitch. That's down and in. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Noe Ramirez up and throwing. Man supply. A left hander also throwing. Late swing, fouled off. The 1-1. One, one. Fly ball down the line. And that is a foul ball. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Ball one there. The wind and the pitch. And now two balls and a strike. And a pitch. Ball three. Count it three one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Now that Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Story on the move. Strike in there. Throw the center, tag, and they got it. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Kicks and deals. And now two and one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Swings and fouls one off. Threw open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Ground ball right side. Walker takes oh. it himself, and that is that. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Phillies three. Welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the third baseman, Drew Ellis. Way to go for the Diamondback. The third baseman, Drew Ellis. Eflin back to work. Yeah. Strike one. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split-finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Swing and a miss, and he got him. 
And that's one out as they no get matter. the leadoff Number hitter ten. in the sixth. Second baseman, So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Josh Rojas. First offering, misses the mark. Righty to the plate. Out to short. Sends it to first. And a couple of quick outs. The batter number 13. Shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Now up next for Arizona, Nick Ahmed. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. The wide to kick the pitch. Nope, outside. And there's the strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Right-hander kicks, deals. In the air, out towards left center. Pulls it in on the run. And that is that. So one, two, three, go to Diamondbacks. But they hold on to a 4-3 lead. In the background is a blind Show Mantiply on the pitch here and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies the pitch Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Parsha makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now batting. Catcher. JT Real Muto. And now it is JT Real Muto. First offering, and it just misses. And that one fouled off. And the next pitch is way outside. Looking to get the tying run on base. Good eye in that spot. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. 3-2 down. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing no, the wall. Right Very through. gritty. Right. One down, runner first. Here's Harper now. You don't get ahead in the count. 
you can forget about having any success against him. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. In there, and it's 0-1. Real Muto, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Ground ball right side could be two. The throw to second. Back to first. Double play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Phillies three. We're Ladies back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Connor Brogdon. And he'll do his best to keep this close. 75, Connor Brogdon. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the DH, Cattell Marte. Leading up for the Diamondback. The designated hitter, Cattell Marte. And he deals. Going wrong. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Now this is in the air down the line. Harper racing over to make the catch. Lefties can definitely be a little pull up happy up the there, especially with the pitches right that they see pretty well. That Go was a there. good example. You hook an outside Go pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Loop low in the box now. No balls and a strike. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Preparing to come on if needed. The next offering misses. And one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. The two now stays alive. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is down low. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now two out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Two outs, bases empty. And here's the catcher, Carson Kelly. One for three. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At 
the belt and fires. There's a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. In the air, right field, Harper going back on this one. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, dude. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? You put a really good swing on that one. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Christian now, Walker. First baseman, Christian Walker. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, two down. Here's the 0-2. That one ran inside, almost got him. The pitch. And now two and two. And the right hander deals. Stays alive. Two two down. Foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch is outside. Three and two down. Right handed reliever. This to third. Fires across the diamond. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Diamondbacks four and the Phillies three. Here comes Mark Melanson, trying to protect his lead. Number 41, Mark Melanson. Top of the eight. Here's a speed threat. Brandon Jordan. This is a true five tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off. The pitch. That just misses. And that is ball one. Wing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. And it is gone. His 39th home run of the season. And we're starting over. It's 4-4. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And the batter now, Reese Hoskins. First pitch, and he just misses. Tied to four. Popped up. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's one away. Up next for Philadelphia, the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. So digging in, Nick Castellanos. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. And 
first offering is fouled off. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The 1-1. Breaking ball in there for a strike. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. So that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie. And you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Makes the grab on the run. And that'll do it. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. All even now at four apiece. Oh man, on the bands, on the bands. Raw papers, all gas. Now I'm getting to the bay. Oh man, I'm on my way. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Bailey Falter. He last pitched two days ago. Seventy, Bailey Falter. Back here in the desert, now the left fielder, Seth Beer. Leading off for the Diamondbacks, the left fielder, Seth Beer. The pitch. Hey. On the inside corner for a strike. And yeah, that one is in for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And he chases that one. And one out. Yeah. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. It looks like a fastball fly high that you've got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. So up next, Dalt Varsho. First offering misses badly for ball one. The 1 0. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Now, oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now it's going to be Drew Ellis. Throw to first, and he's back in on a dive. And a 1 0. Foul ball there. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. Runner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Real mutual throws, not in time. It's a stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Next pitch misses way outside. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around not distracting your teammate, the hitter. 
make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release ball. Pitch. And that's ball four. Well, he took his chance at getting in the chase right there, but with first base open, walked out a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. And here's the pinch runner, Geraldo Perdomo. Next to hit for Arizona, Josh Rojas. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. Left-hand batter waits. That one misses. Well, that's ball two. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Next offering is downstairs. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the three-two. If he'll throw a breaking ball three-one, he'll do it again three-two. Right side, and it's just foul. That is close. And a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Left hand hitter waits. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments where everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Now up next for Arizona. Nick down there. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And first offering is fouled off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And he'll one. Out towards right center field. Harper on the move to the alley. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Both runners tagging from second and third. It's a set fly as he comes across the score. And it's now 5-4. Well, this is a big at bat right here. Nice sack fly to give his team the lead in these late innings. Next is the DH. A switch hitter. Cattell Marte. Ziggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about it. I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. The one to one. In the air, right side. Base hit and a run in to score. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Picks himself up at RBI. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. The new pitcher in the game, right, Sir Anthony please. Dominguez. Right, now it's his job to keep his team in Number the game. 58, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks, Jordan Luplo. Now batting, right fielder, Jordan Luplo. And that's in there for strike one. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. 
next pitch is downstairs. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Jose Alvarado getting ready to go. Ball to strike. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Rojas, the runner at third. Marte on at first with two down. Doubled up on the slider away. Two seamer here. Let's watch and see. And the 2-2. Slider misses outside. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Diamondback 6 and the Phillies 4. New pitcher on now, J.B. Wendelkin. Josh Van Meter now in the game as he takes over third. Now playing third base. And welcome back. Here's Trevor Story. Van Meter. Off for the Phillies, the shortstop, Trevor Ford. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. There's the strike. And the pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. punch out there one away well that high four seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years and what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well the problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you you expand your zone you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact if you do many times it's a pop-up here's the second baseman Gene Segura for the fourth time tonight First pitch, just misses. Riding to the plate. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Next offering is down low. Right-hander kicks, deals. And it's even up. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Ball almost got him there. Righty delivers. Got him looking. 
back-to-back -back strength ones. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all goals. First two batters, two Kyle strikeouts. Schwarber. See if he can strike out the side. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. In there, and it's 0-1. And he'll one. That one drifts inside. The one one. Chases that one upstairs. Well, you know this guy wants a pitch off, something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall. But you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with. Next one misses, and it's two and two. Straighten him up a little bit. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Every team wants a reliable closer, and that's exactly what he delivers for a squad. They expect to win when he's on the mound at the end of the ball game. And he just produced his 20th save of the year. And this one ends with a final score of 6 to 4 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB Show.